Hi there, my name is Gerard Green and it is uh, the middle of February 2021 and welcome to our specialist pelvic health clinic in Birmingham in the UK. Uh, I'm kind of doing this video because uh, many of my patients uh, recently and in the past have asked me uh, how do we find the vulva? So this video really is about finding the vulva, otherwise known as the vulvospongiosis muscle. So that's a really important part of the pelvic floor and a part of the pelvic floor that, that comes from the pelvic floor reaches up on each side, so we've got one on the right, one on the left, and attaches really to the base of the penis. And then coming in at the side of that, we've got the ischial muscle, or ischial cavernosis. And that's kind of what you see when you look at, say, an image on Google. So you see the very erect penis, midline, two muscles coming in, which are the bulbo, archer, two kind of uh, strap-like muscles, the ischial. And find this finding the bulbo video, this is really for our uh, hard flaccid patients, of which we see a lot, and particularly those who are going into that kind of second phase of hard flaccid rehabilitation. So this really is not for the man who hasn't had any other treatment, this is really uh, for someone who's had treatment for hard flaccid, who's really worked to relax those pelvic floor muscles, in addition to doing lots of other stuff that we do in phase one, this is more this phase two progression. And this is where, when we've decided that it's appropriate to really start bringing in some kind of gentle activation of the bulbo and the ischio and some of the other front anterior pelvic floor muscles. So those front muscles that are really important for that erectile function. And we know in the pelvic floor, we've got fast fibers, so we wanna do some fast contractions, and we've got some slow fibers, so we wanna do some slow contractions. So how are we gonna do those? It's good to do it in a very supported position, so I'm just gonna Drop back against the wall here. My knees are bent. So what I'm going to do first of all is just a little bit of the belly breathing that we have done a lot of in phase one. So I'm going to do about two minutes. Nice relaxed belly breathing. So let's say that's two minutes. Then what I want to do is some front pelvic floor fast activation. So my good friend and colleague Joe Milius has done lots of work in her PhD around um, really finding these muscles. She's finding them more related to the prostate cancer patient. So we're gonna find them in relation to the heart flaccid patient. And the phrase we use is nuts to guts. So it's nuts to guts, and nuts to guts is really to emphasize that front contraction. We're not bothered really about the rectum here. So what I'm gonna do is do a couple of minutes of belly breathing, relax that, keeping the tummy relaxed, do some fast contractions, like I'm imagining lifting nuts to guts. So I'm gonna contract at the front maximally, let go, contract maximally, let go. And what I'm trying to really emphasize is that lifting at the front. So I'll also feel a little bit of tightening into the lower abdomen. I want to build up to doing 10 fast maximum contractions. And it may be initially you've got to do five first of all. And then when you finish the 10, you're going to go back and do a couple of minutes nice belly breathing. Then we want to do some slow contractions. But we also want to do the front contractions, the nuts to guts. So we want to put with the slow contraction, we want to really do a, kind of a 50% contraction. So rather than contracting as hard as possible, we want to do a much lighter, softer contraction. So we do nuts to guts, lighter front contraction. Hold, hold. I can feel a little bit of a uh, kind of scrotal lift there. Hold, 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 let go. 
And the letting go is really important, particularly for you guys listening to this. When you do the fast contraction, you contract maximally, you let go fully. You contract maximally, you let go maximally. And with the slow ones, do a nice 10 second lift, hold, keep breathing. If you find it hard to keep breathing, keep talking like I'm doing, because it's hard to talk and hold your breath. Hold, 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 let go. And we're building up to doing 10 second holds, 10 repetitions. Then we do another set of breathing. And then we could repeat that another time. We could do 10 fast contractions, more breathing, another 10 set of 10 slow. What you start with it will be dependent on what you've been advised. So I think what I tend to do is to say, well, let's start with five fast, five slow for five seconds. Once you can do that, build up to 10 fast, 10 slow. You can also then add in a second set. People want to know, well, how often should I do them? I think it's really quality over quantity. So I think initially do them once, first of all, per day. Once you can do it once per day, you can then add in a second set. But I think it's really important to emphasize that this is this, this is this second phase of hard flaccid rehabilitation. So this is not designed for the guys who have no intervention at all. Because what we tend to do in that first phase is a lot of work on relaxing those muscles, calming them down. Many thanks.